So I'm back to buying collections. I bought a collection with my girlfriend today. A uh, Pokemon collection. It had some Digimon cards, a few Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but nothing too major. It was from a local seller. Uh, no, yeah, no idea who I was. Um, and it was 500 cash, 2,000 Zell, and three boxes or ETBs of Evolving Skies, which is around 80, 80 ish dollars now. And I, you know, the cards that we got today were amazing. And then you look at how much Rudy was charging for Meta Zoo back in the day. Um, it's incredible how trash this thing is, right? I mean, think about this for a moment. For 30, 369069, right? You get free Meta Zoo Nightfall kits. So, I mean, somewhere between two and I guess two and a half kits or something like that. I mean, I'm getting, what, two boxes of Nightfall booster boxes, first edition, that is now worth almost nothing. I think it's worth, what is it, like $80 now? I mean, one spell book, one release event, I'm going to get one promo of Rudy that is worthless. I get one playmat of Rudy, which is worthless. I mean, I never understood this as an investment. There's so many beautiful ma Magic and Pokemon cards out today that are worth pennies. You know, um, a lot of the collection I bought, I um, bought it because the prices are so low. The uh, waifu trainers are down 50% or more. A lot of the Shining Legends, a lot of the older cards, uh, Ultra Modern, some of the most beautiful cards in Pokemon are down 40%. You can pick up these amazing cards, and I'm going to show them off in another video. Or you could buy MetaZoo, right? I mean, why, if, imagine spending, there, there are a lot, multiple people on YouTube who spent uh, $2,100 buying free, some of them more, boxes of Rudy 6.9. There are people who bought $8,200 for five boxes at nightfall, because obviously, according to Rudy, they didn't believe it was an investment. There are people who bought first edition Monarch, right? I have an email from that as well uh, at uh, 500 a, a pop, right? A box, a box. We're talking about a box and that box is still $80 today um, and actually it's doing very poorly. Um, it just doesn't look like it can go up in price ever. Looks like it kind of just cliffs off at 80. Um, or, you know, if you save that money and you're buying something in the today's market, what I'm telling you right now is if you have the money, tax season's upon you, you can buy a beautiful collection of Pokemon, of Magic, of Yu-Gi-Oh!, of Locana, of any of these card games that are just plummeting into oblivion. The one card game that we might talk about a little later is One Piece. That card game seems to still go up in price, but I don't know if that will last that much longer because every other card game has been decimated. And, and it, it's not... Let me tell you about this. It's not what you buy. It's what price you buy at and when you buy it that matters. So if you bought anything back in 2020 and 2021, would it be as bad as MetaZoo? No, MetaZoo is on, it's catastrophical. If you put your money in MetaZoo back then, if you bought these kits from Rudy Chan, and a lot of you guys did because you're trying to sell the promo cards, right? How could you get the promo cards unless you sold, you bought the kit? A lot of these Timmies, they bought this 6.9 and they opened the boxes. And do you know for that amount of money, what type of, I'm going to show you what type of collection you can buy that I was able to buy today. Um, and we haven't even sleeved it up all, or we're seeing her nephew tomorrow. Going to hang out with him at the mall, right? Um, and, you know, you, you know the level of collection that you can buy with $8,200 today? Like, do you understand? Like, you know, for like 2500 plus a little bit of product, okay? Like, the collection I have is just mind-blowing. Um, it, it's cards that my girlfriend and I, we open Pokemon cards, of course. Sometimes we put it on the channel, sometimes we don't. And once in a blue moon, so we open 10 packs, you know, we can open like 100, 200 packs... Once in a blue moon, you might pull out like a alternative art, right? 
I bought a whole collection of them, and they're just really beautiful cards that I couldn't for the life of me pull for whatever reason. And now I have them all. I have Lugia, I have uh, Blaziken, which is one that I really wanted, and I didn't, like, Battle Style just sucks, man. I, you know, it's a terrible set. I got more Lilies, I got um, Charizards, I got all the Charizards, all of them. I even got the KFC promo. I didn't realize that one's like $100. I got a CD Charizard, and, you know, like, it's, the market right now is really soft. So, if you didn't spend your, ca if you save your money, and you're like, oh, no, you guys, no, but no, we didn't, no, I mean, he was happy, like, he was happy to get the deal, and, you know, I have all my, I mean, I, if anything, I always overpay, because I want them to come back. Right? I want them to have a good experience. They have He's got other Yu-Gi-Oh cards. He's got other cards. We're going to meet him in TCG Con. He's going to bring some cards over and probably sell it to us, right? But um, also, TCG Con allowed my Shibu Uni to come, so I'm going. You know, I was not, I was not, I couldn't find a babysitter for my Shibu Uni. My Shibu Uni is very cute. You can check her out in this channel. Um, yeah, I, I will point blank tell you something that is very very serious like whatever money you spent on meta zoo is gone please don't dump more money into it you can get a beautiful beautiful alternative art card for less than a hundred dollars in pokemon right now that used to be 200 that used to be 150 you can get a trainer card of a waifu that you wanted and it's half off right and even better condition than the one that you bought um, now it is a buyer's market, and that's what Rudy won't tell you, right? Rudy still wants you to sell you Ravnica Remastered, for God's sake. What the hell? Right? Like, what, what the hell? Like, Rudy will never tell you what I'm going to tell you right now. It's to buy your three singles and buy collections. That's where the money is. Rudy will always do what Rudy wants to do, but he will never tell you the truth. Buy the collections. That's where their money is real, real money is at. That's what Rudy does, right? He buys people's collections for pennies on the dollar. Now, I'm not him, and I'm fair, because I have a reputation, right? But um, that's where the money is. The money isn't in buying sealed boxes from a guy who's desperately trying to sell you his image of himself on a playmat for $500 or $8,200 or $1,000 a monarch. I mean... Guys, um, you already know, man. For $2,500 plus uh, free TVs of Evolving Skies. <sighs> Wait till I show you the collection, man. 